Hi, Spikey here. Uh, after a quick look at the reference, I will try and demonstrate how I made the wheel. Let's open Blender. Up. And well, we'll start with the default cube. Let's bring it up. So it sits on the floor because the tire wants on the floor. <coughs> Not in the air or halfway through it. Up, edit mode. Face select. And remove those faces because I don't need them. I don't want them. They're in the way. Mm, I think I want four loop cuts. Here and I will scale this thing up in this x axis by two to give me a bit more space. I will cut it later on, but <laughs> otherwise, I get a bit confused. I know I want eight parts here, so I will need seven look cuts. Control R, not R. Seven up and uh, face select mode. And let's look at it from the bottom. I will take these faces G X point five. Great. Yeah, that looks good. Now. Uh, up. I will select these. Unfortunately, yeah, I have to do this one side at a time, not this one. Let's see that again in the right direction. E point one. Yes, at the other side. It's the caps lock. I don't want the caps lock. This one, shift. I will press the caps lock. E point one. Yes, excellent. Uh, this is easier to select them up. And individual origins. S X. one as well. SX just a bit. Something like this. And we basically have a wheel. Now I'm going to cut this here. Uh, w subdivide and here w and subdivide vertex select I have these two I want to cut there okay knife tool well there we are this one C constraining it to an angle and Z to cut all the way through and up and enter again. This one, how are we? Up C Z until we get there. Up enter. Ooh, wireframe. Selecting these vertices on this side and again the caps lock. These vertices on this side and delete them. So now we have a tire segment and this should actually fit completely. 
Um, I've done something wrong now. Z wireframe up. Z point one to get it back on the floor. Yeah. Oh, what we can do? Hmm, for instance, we can get this. down a bit or up actually but it looks down Oopla. beautiful should we take these not individual origins anymore and this why just a bit I give this beautiful Nice profile. Oh, the topology is horrible, and I need a gap here. Actually, this is. But let's not worry about it and call this good for now. Object mode up. Let's make this round. Array modifier up. I put it to twenty now. It doesn't matter. We can change this. This is going to be dynamically changeable. Oh, let's close this for, up for a moment and get a simple deform. Oh, this is not going to work. Shift S. Uh, cursor to world origin. Shift A. Add an empty. We can use a plane axis. And this is going to be a controller for the band. And this must be set to bend. Mm, use the control bend. And then we have a problem. X, Y, Z. Nothing works. But as we can see, it, Z sort of works, but it's in the wrong direction. So we check the control bend. R, X, 90. Uh, actually, that works. <laughs> Even though the z axis is already correct, we put in 360 because we want the complete tire. And we're ready. Beautiful. Oh no, I forgot something. We do need to merge these in the array modifier. And we We'll put for completeness a weld modifier at the end. It's okay, don't have to do any, change any settings there. Let's open up the end panel. <coughs> now, I want an extra property, a custom property. Add, and edit. I'll give it a name. We call this. Let's set the property to 20 and to 20, not 20.0, but make it an integer so that we can use a slider and it always takes integer values. Minimum, well, it's 16, it's not, people go too crazy in 32, it doesn't really matter. Tooltip, you can make a tooltip here, number. Let's, for instance, now press OK. And we look here, we have a thread, and we can change that, and nothing happens. Because we want this count to be this one. And this is where Blender has become really good in, since 2.8 or something. Right click. Copy as new driver, right click, paste driver. And now, boom, 
to perfect. The only thing is, of course, that when we change the threads, the tire gets bigger. And, and that's not what we want. What we actually want is that when this thing gets bigger, we should get the X scale down. Let's back to twenty. Let's say this is the correct size now because if it's not, we're going to keep this size. So let's say this is correct. We've modeled it, so this is correct. And uh, now what we need is uh, a driver on the X scale because we can see if we change the X scale, we change the size, and we actually want this size. Um, adding a driver and we want to access this value when we count we need something another empty i like empties <laughs> empty we change the z scale and we actually just can paste the driver probably up so the scale of that empty changes on this one. So now I can into this driver object this empty and the Z scale and let's take let's just call this R for now. This is not correct. Now you can see this is 20 the driver value. But we don't want it to be 20, we want it to be 1. So, we say 20 divided by 4 is 1. Not the other way around, because we want when the 20, when the 4 gets bigger, the expression should get smaller. So, if we do 4 divided by 20, then it would be now 1. But when we increase the number of threads, the tire would also get larger. Let's see. Oh, we can see the scale value changes, but the tire stays exactly the same. That's actually everything, I think. Oh, we can add some more geometry and make the tire bit better but this is the principle of it right so this property value if you change this the array count changes and the scale changes because this scale changes with so this is 20 now you can see we put this up 32 and we look at this thing it's now 32 and this scale is 0.625 which is 20 divided by 32 <laughs> but we don't have to change it because this blender calculates as far as that's the power of drivers drivers you 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 can have a cube and another cube and the, when you scale one cube the other cube moves or the other way around and it's very nice but the real power is uh, edit driver these expressions you can make complicated math expressions here this one is easy of course and do crazy things really it's really amazing that's the power uh, that's actually all I think we have our tire fun thing if I move this it starts rotating And if I take this thing, this thing, and this thing, let's try this out. Control P, parent to object. Now, if I move this, it doesn't rotate, so this doesn't work. Mm, let me cut this out. Something should be possible. What if I? Uh, 
Ah, that's it. Just move the empty. <laughs> cool. And you see it doesn't slide? And if I take this thing and put this together, extreme, move the empty. Perfect. Well, that's it, actually. Um, see you next time, guys. <laughs> Hope this was helpful. Bye.